Good morning, everybody. It is Thursday. Thursday, Thursday. It's been some week. It's been a good week. We're ending a, a great month in February. I think it's going to be another banner month for our team. So we're just so blessed. Thank you for our referral partners. Thank you for our clients. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Can't thank you enough, obviously. So if it wasn't for you guys and gals, we would not be able to do what we do. So thank you for your trust. Um, quick tip. Uh, recasting versus refinancing. What is recasting? Recasting is just usually for a conventional type of loan. So let's say let's say like you have a loan for two hundred thousand dollars, okay, and you come into money whether you're selling something else or or you know, I mean basically just just have a chunk of cash. If you have cash that's that's more than ten thousand dollars and want to put it down towards your mortgage, make sure you call your servicer about recasting the payment. What that is is basically. Uh, keeping the, the same timeline going, okay? So 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 like, let's say you close last year, okay? And then this year you come into some money, let's call it $30,000. Decide to put $30,000 on that $200,000 to bring a one seventy. dollars What you could do, call your servicer and see if they can recast the payment, which they should be able to do if you have a conventional loan, and see about taking your payment down based on $170,000. Right now, if somebody just pays the $30,000 down, doesn't really change the payment, okay? Payment's gonna stay the same, but if you can recast the payment, you can lower your payment and have more principal going towards, uh, more more of your payment going towards principal, okay? So very, very important on that. Um, it, it's it's a little thing that most people in my side of business don't talk about because they always wanna refi, refi, refi. And yes, there's a lot of times to, to refinance. The difference between the two is, if your plan is to pay off your house, okay? And, and then you have this money to lay down uh, towards it, then, then that's that's the best option to do it, okay? Um, instead of trying to refinance and start the clock again and, and do all that. Now, if somebody wants to consolidate some debt, somebody wants to cut the term down or, or do something else like that, then the second option, do, doing, doing like a simple like refinance is, is better to do that instead of trying to do a recast. So most people don't know about recasting. Uh, most people don't wanna talk about it. Uh, on my side of business, but hey, it's a great option. You know, I, I talked to somebody two weeks ago. He was thinking about trying, trying to you know consolidate some stuff. But but you know, I said, listen, take that hundred thousand dollars, pay off that stuff, take the rest of that, pay down, pay down your mortgage, and recast your payment. And you know, this was this was going to be his final house, so it didn't make sense for him to try to try to refinance and do something else. Uh, and, you know, save him a lot of time. He was blown away because he never even heard of it. It was like his sixth house too, so. The difference between those two are, could be huge. Uh, there, there's a time and place for each one of them. Uh, but yes, if you have a conventional loan and and want to take the payment down and keep on going on your same term, recasting is the way to go. Call your servicer, and when you call them, sometimes these people, we're gonna be nice here. Sometimes these people aren't the sharpest uh, sharpest tack. Let's just put it that way. Okay, so. Call back again, talk to somebody else, talk, you know, talk to their manager and so forth, because they want you to try to, you know, like refinance, okay? Um, so, you know, that's, that's the name of the game, I guess. But, hey, listen, always try to do the best for the client. Uh, it's it's going to pay dividends long-term, short-term, and it's just the right thing to do. Um, so, uh, if any questions on that stuff, just let me know. Comment down below, shoot me a private message. Or shoot me a text of 423-262-9229. 423-262-9229. I got some new stress balls in here. Look at that thing. All right? It's got Peckman on there. But yeah, all day long I'm like this. Shocker, right? That's a real shocker. So if you got any questions, just let me know. Have a great day, and I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.